Hey, uh, Danny Cosby here. Disciple Dan on the forum. Uh, just wanted to uh, take a little video here of my roller mat because there's no instruction on this thing. And, and I just want to get other people's uh, ideas on, you know, what are you guys doing? Because um, I want to, you know, I, I'm, my mom was from Missouri. I'm from Florida. But I'm still a show me guy. So I measure my pivots here like this. And that's 1.4. Uh, 1.45 that's 1.47 so I got my dial here set on tighten it up my dial here set on 1.5 screw this move out my my wheel there my polisher Okay, and so, uh, and so what I do here, this, this screw, you know what it does, it pushes that, it, it pushes the burnisher in and out. So what I do, so it's fully trapped in there now. That's full strength of this spring on the, on the pivot there. So I bring it out there to where it just touches, right here, it just touches the, thing and then I back it off just a little bit depending on what the pivot looks like if I can see uh, with my naked eye that there's some scarring on there I'll, I'll just barely touch it and then I'll just back it off a little bit because I, I don't want to take much off of these I just want to get them polished take off what I need to and, it, and if I were to just loosen that up the way I see it this thing would keep eating at the pivot until this touch the screw so that's how I that's how I gauge how much it's going to take off so that's just touching this pivot will look like it had some scarring it's number two wheel in the movement and so I'm just barely touching then I just barely back off and I use hoppies uh, David LeBounty suggested this or so on, on burnishing them on the lathe which I would wish I could do but I just don't have time to uh, learn how to do that. I'm old already and I, I'm trying to do good work and uh, make money and that's just way too slow for me. So I invested in this um, roller mat. It was a lot but it really it really helps a guy like me that's uh, way behind to, to do you know better work. So uh, what I do, uh, I, I set it up and I can just about tell when I turn it on, if it's cutting a lot of this pivot or not, just by the sound and the feel, the feel of this wheel. So I got her in there, and here we go. See, I can feel that it's cutting just a, it's cutting just a little bit. I can feel it, and then it'll start to ease off because it's getting down to where uh, my my uh, pressure there is getting less because it's starting to touch that screw. That's my theory. If I'm wrong, that's why I'm making this video. Is that right? So, and I go about 20 seconds at least, sometimes more, for uh, for this one. I'll go a little bit extra, but uh, you know, I just I just want to know I'm, I'm I'm using this to the full attempt of potential, and then I'm uh, and then I'm doing it right. So then I. And I just undo that spring over there. Wipe my pivot down. I got my goggles on. See, I can still see. I can still see some scarring. I can still see. I, I, doubt, I doubt you can see that little black ring around there. But when I do that, I go back in there. I just open this up a little bit. Right where it was. Pop, I get, I pop that back down in there, make sure it's down, and then I just loosen that just a little bit more, just a tad, and then I'll try her again. And uh, and that's how I do my pivots. So this is a big pivot. Now this clock here has got some little bitty pivots on it. Those are always scary. This is a Chinese. This is a Chinese movement, but you know, I don't know what kind of material they're using, but 
uh, they're made well. Those those lanterns really look nice. They're, they're, they're not they're not too bad. I don't know about the grade of the material. That's what people say they're made out of, uh, you know, a lesser grade material. But you know, uh, looks like they looks like they got good design. They're trying to make a good a good product. So you know, I'm not pro Chinese, but uh, these are old. These are back from the old days. So now, now it's looking pretty good. And if I look at this pivot with a uh, times 10 or I can't, or maybe it's times 100, I've got a little, I've got a little handheld microscope. But if I look at it before, I can see the scarring real good. And then if I look at it after, um, I can see, you know, that there's, um, it's not, you know, it's not like, real smooth in the with under the microscope but all of the cuts are going in the same direction and they're and they're pretty much flat across if you you know there's no jagged edges they're 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 smooth but i mean i think that's the best that this thing is going to do now i don't know if uh if um you know doing it by hand you can get it better than that probably you know i don't think my machine can take uh, up what a man does but sometimes you know they, sometimes I don't know but uh, so that's all I want to do I just wanted to see uh, get some feedback on on this and see if you guys are having any better luck or if you're having any similar questions about it uh, you know uh, let's uh, let's talk about it all right okay well thanks y'all and have a great day God bless all of you